Here at Channel 2S, we're all about the newest and greatest Gundam models. So let's unbox another January kit. So welcome to Channel 2S everybody, your home for Gunpla news and reviews. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and today we're looking at the high-grade Roe. This high-grade IBO model was released in January 2017 for 1,200 yen. So as always, we're going to start this unboxing off by taking a closer look at the box art for this model. Now usually I'm not that big on the box art they use for the IBO kits. It's always looked a little too cell shaded to me and doesn't quite seem like it has that same quality as the artwork for some of the HGUC or Master Grade kits. But I actually find myself liking the box art for the Roe quite a lot. I think it might have something to do with those awesome explosions in the background. But yeah, there's really not much more I can say about the artwork here. We got one Roe in the front looking awesome. We got another one zooming in from behind. And then a picture of Ozzy down here in the corner. Interestingly enough, the name appears to be written in both kanji and katakana. And of course, since this is the 2017 model, everything on the box is translated into English as well. So moving down to the bottom of the box, we have front and back shots of the completed model. An action shot just to the right of those. Another action shot of the Roe equipped with its armor-breaking mace. And a shot of the Roe flying from behind. And I personally wouldn't have chosen this as a promo image for this model since it makes the kit look pretty hollow. And then on the far right, we have a little call out for the enhanced shoulder articulation and the weapon storage. The side of the box just gives us a more cropped version of the box art from the front and also indicates that this is the 32nd kit in the high-grade Iron-Blooded Orphans line. And then as always, the top of the box is mostly just a promotional image for the MS option sets. In this case, the main set they seem to be pushing is option set 2 back from season 1. They also show them equipped with the bladed bat from option set 6 and they're also showing the Hakeja with another weapon from option set 2. And because my full-size tripod is currently out of commission, you get to watch me awkwardly try and open this box with one hand. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought. So inside the first bag we have... Oh. Oh. That... That's not looking good. At all. But if we look below that rather questionable sticker sheet, we have a bag of parts right here. And then one more bag of parts, just two bags, since this is one of those little IBO high grades. Then we got one of those little bluefin sets of multi-language assembly instructions. And finally, one of those itty-bitty little mini IBO manuals. So in that first bag, we have an all-new A-Runner for the Roe, molded in dark blue, gray, and a couple little splashes of white. And also in that first bag is a C-Runner that is pulled straight from the Hyaku Ren. And the cool part about that is that it means that you still get the rifle and that really cool knife that the Hyakuren came with, even though you're technically not supposed to use them. Gotta love leftover parts. The next bag has a slate gray B-Runner, which is both very close to the color of my table, and also holds an absolutely freaking massive piece of plastic on it that's going to be making up pretty much the entirety of this kit's back skirt. And that is a pretty massive piece. Bag 2 also contains a small E-Runner cast in that same light gray plastic we saw on parts of the A-Runner. And the tiny little D-Runner does appear to be gray at first, but it's actually a very dark military green and it looks really good. And of course it's also got that little IBO polycap sheet we've all seen a million times by now. So it looks like we're going to have four different colors of parts going to this kit, and I have to say they all look pretty damn awesome together. And finally, here's one last look at what's probably the worst thing to come out of this box so far, and that is this sticker sheet. And there aren't a lot of stickers on it, but look at those massive ones. Those have to go somewhere obvious, and I am, I am not looking forward to seeing how those look. Right now, I'm just really hoping that they don't wrap around the sides of the arms. And now it's time for a close-up look at the manual. We have some anime line art of the Roe as it appeared in Iron-Blooded Orphans. And also line art of one of its pilots, Ozzy Garuman. And then next to that we have some development information on the Roe. You can go ahead and pause here if you want to read up on this. And a short character description for Ozzy. Back of the manual is mostly just a bunch of pictures we've already seen in the box, so I'm just going to quickly go in close and show you all the text. So we have brief weapon descriptions for the handgun and the heavy club. Also a quick description for the Tewa's frame and the Roe's booster system. And then finally down here in the corner we have a color guide. And inside the manual is... Nothing interesting. 
So that is it, guys. Everything in the box for the high-grade Roe. And while I am loving all the different colors of parts we get with this kit, those stickers still have me worried. So I'd say my first impression of this kit are mostly positive, and I am looking forward to building this guy as soon as I can. So as always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and stay right there because I have a special announcement to make. I've gotten a couple questions recently as to when I'm going to start streaming again, and the answer is tomorrow. But, this will not be a normal build stream. Instead of being a live build like all my past streams have been, this will be a special look back and final episode review for Iron Blooded Orphans. We're going to get the whole MS Report crew back together for those of you who have been around long enough to remember what that was. And it's all going to be happening tomorrow evening over on my friend Dan the Plastic Man's channel. We're going to talk about IBO, we're going to talk about our thoughts on the show in general, and generally have a fun little stream. We might even answer some questions from the chat as well, so if you want to see that, and I do recommend seeing it, be sure you uh, go over there tomorrow evening. I'll probably put up some kind of notification here when we go live. And yeah, I hope to see you guys there. So if this is your first time here on Channel 2S, I am your host, Second Soundwave, and I make all sorts of Gunplay-related videos, from unboxings, to builds, to reviews, to news, and everything in between. And if that kind of content sounds like it's right up your alley and something you want to see more of, be sure that you hit that subscribe button right about now to stay up to date on Gunplay news and reviews. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you are notified the next time I decide to livestream here on Channel 2S. And as always, I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and I'll see you next time.